man's closest evolutionary cousin. It's five million years since we came down from the trees and became the most successful species on the planet. But evolution has ground to a halt, according to one of the country's top geneticists. Gone are the life or death crises that led to the survival of the fittest. Medicine has made living too easy, so even the weak pass on their genes to the next generation. In Shakespeare's time, two-thirds of all babies were dead by the time they were 21. Even in Darwin's time, half of them were. Last year in England, more than 99% of them stayed alive. Now that means that's the raw material for evolution, natural selection has gone away. Many of those deaths in ancient times were to do with re resistance to disease or cold. Now we're all the same, we all stay alive. So that means there's nothing for evolution to work on when it comes to life and death. There are also fewer genetic mutations in men's sperm, chance mistakes in the DNA that shape the generations to come. Walking on two legs, not four, the ability to use tools, all the result of mutations that gave us an evolutionary advantage. Meet the ancestors. This is what we looked like when humans left Africa. In the intervening one and a half million years, our brains have got a lot larger, our jaws have got smaller. But many scientists would say there's no reason to suspect that evolution will stop there. There are small changes happening um, over time. For instance, changes in tooth size or, or other aspects. Um, and they are due to evolution. And if we wait a million years, we will, I doubt that we will look the same as we do nowadays. Science fiction has humans evolving into a super species, but Professor Jones warns without evolution, this is as good as it gets. Thomas Moore, Sky News.